Kaczyński. And now I give the floor to Prahar. Thank you, Mr. President. Manipur wants an independent princely state with a constitutional monarchy and democratic government retain autonomy even after Indian's independence in 1947. However, following Manipur's merger with India, the Indian government assures that Manipur's territorial integrity would remain intact without the state's consent. Despite these promises, Manipur has faced numerous threats to our territorial boundaries and the safety and the security of our native indigenous people, leading to ongoing demand for stronger protections. The ongoing conflict in Manipur has severely impacted both the economy and livelihoods. Over 200 lives have been lost and more than 4,000 homes have been burned by the tin cookie terrorists. These terror attacks have displaced over 60,000 people who live in overcrowded refugee camps lacking basic necessities like food, shelter, and health care. The psychological strain of enduring such conditions compounded by the trauma of displacement has led to an increase in mental health crisis, including suicide. Mr. President, many displaced individuals are left in despair, crying and praying for justice and a chance to return home and build and reveal their lives. Meanwhile, Manipur's economy is crippled with inflation at 10 percent and the destruction of businesses and infrastructure pushing an state into a severe recession. The Indian government has failed to uphold its promise to safeguard Manipur territorial integrity, leaving the native Manipur Maitai's people confined to just 8 percent of a land surrounded by militants. I urge the councils to provide financial assistance for the displaced people and mediate with the Indian government to ensure their safe return with dignity and the protections of Manipur territorial integrity. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank you, sir.